Hi, my name is Sean Buchanan. I'm part of the technical team here at Sequent, located in Denver, Colorado. In this video, we'll be discussing how to import and georeference cross-sections in LeapFrog. So jumping right into LeapFrog, this is a contaminated site. It's a former dry cleaner. Shown in red are our monitoring wells, and shown here in blue and green are our cross-section transect lines. If you've been monitoring this site for quite some time, it's very likely you have some historical cross-sections that are living in older reports. Now we want to bring those cross-sections into LeapFrog for visualization purposes or to use as the basis for our geological model. So to bring in those sections, we're going to navigate to our cross-sections and contours folder, and we can right-click on on that and select new cross section from image. I have two sections here, A to A prime and B to B prime. The supported file formats for this is GIF files, JPEG, PNG, TIFFs or GeoTIFFs, so maybe your cross section is already geo referenced, which is even better, or a BMP file. So I'll go ahead and grab both of these sections and press open. And those will populate in my cross sections and contours folder. If you pull one of these sections into the scene, you'll notice that it is not georeferenced correctly. So this section will be living at coordinates 0, 0, 0. So we need to georeference this into our current modeling space. To do that, I'll double click on my cross section A to A prime, and I'll use these three registration markers to georeference and triangulate in this image. So I'll take my first registration marker and put it at the top of one of my borings, so my MW12D. And I'll take my second registration marker and I'll put it on the same boring, but I'll put it at the bottom of that boring. And then I'll go into this table and type in my easting, northing, and elevation. And then since they're on the same boring, I can just copy these values and paste them down to this row. I'll take my third registration marker and go to the other side of the cross section. And I'll place this on the top of my MW7. And once again, I would type in those values. Something you may be inclined to do is select this vertical section at the top right corner. If you do that, it's only going to give you access to two registration markers to georeference this image. So if you do that, make sure you get good spatial coverage in the Z direction. So I would put one registration marker in the top left corner, and then maybe I'd take my second registration marker and put it in the bottom right corner of my section just so I can georeference that. Um, as accurately as possible. So I have already georeferenced these sections. So open one of those up. So same thing, I chose my MW12D and my MW7, and then I typed in my correct coordinates. Then make sure to press the Save button. You can then pull these cross sections into the scene, and we can see they're now georeferenced in the correct modeling space. Something you might notice is these cross sections are straight, and those are not the same orientation as our original fence sections that have some twists and turns. So what we need to do is create an extruded mesh from our transect lines and then drape these images onto that mesh. So I'm going to go into my topography, draped images, and here I have my two transect lines. These are just imported shape files. And I'm going to right click on these and we're going to extract the polyline. That will then populate my polylines folder. You can then pull those into the scene. They're going to look the exact same. And now that these are polylines, I can go into my meshes folder and create a new extruded mesh. I'll choose that A to A prime polyline, and then you can either extrude by an elevation or by a distance. So I'm just going to use the elevation and choose the elevations from my cross section at 950 and 750. And we can see that is then extruding that polyline up and down. I'll go ahead and press OK. And then I can pull that extruded mesh into the scene. It's just going to be a flat color. I can then right click on that mesh, select drape image, and I can choose an existing image in my project. I'll choose my A to A prime. And then in my shapes list, change this from a flat color to my cross section A to A prime. And now I have my fence section draped on my mesh. And there we go.